Hi, my name is Jacob Rockowitz, and this screencast is intended to highlight the latest features available in Web Form 8.x 5.x Beta 8. I'm going to walk you through these features that are listed here. Uh, the first feature, which is kind of continuing off of the Beta 7, is I added support for multiple value elements. And I'm going to create a new form to demo this. We'll call it Demo. Now we have the demo form. I'm going to add an element. Um, let's go with email. And what has changed, we have multiple values. Instead of a checkbox multiple, you have this allowed number of values, which is copied from field API. And we can say, we well, can say unlimited, which will give you just as many email addresses, but let's just limit it to three. I'm gonna scroll down and hit save. And we can view it. And we only are able to enter three email addresses. And this is applied to all multiple value elements, including checkboxes and even multiple select menus. Now, the next feature that was added was it's a pretty minor one, but the ability to duplicate handlers, which I can quickly show you. So you can add an email handler, and I can use the default one. And just in this little operations drop down over here, you get the ability to duplicate. I also followed through with that and added the ability, and we're going to just create a test submission. Go back and go to results, and you can also duplicate your results. And it just gives you a quick form to make a copy of an existing submission. It's useful in certain applications if you're doing an invoice system and you need to just copy an existing invoice. If it's a very long form, it'll, you know, pre-fill out all the, the values for you. Um, moving ahead with element enhancements, we'll go back to the demo and we'll go into edit. There's two more elements I want to show you. I'm going to go into do a phone number. Um, and we do filter by phone. There's now a phone advanced and a regular phone. This The telephone number field is just a simple telephone field with international support, which is what I want to demo. But I'm going to use the advanced because it actually has a little more features. So we'll do phone. I'm going to scroll down. And what you get is type, phone, and extension. And you can see you get the ability to control them. And international is automatically checked for the advanced element, not for the basic telephone element. And you got to see how it works to kind of understand what that does. And I'm going to go over to view. And what it does is it adds this international telephone widget to collect international numbers. And it's really a clean looking user experience. And I think this, this element is really about user experience because what it's doing is it's telling your international audience that you get them, that you understand their numbers are different. You even have the translations available. And this validates the numbers against a Google API, which is very cool. It checks for a fully valid number and verifies it as extension support and type, and you can control these options. Another element that was added that's, both of these are new elements that, you know, we're going to evolve and improve over time, is a term select element. So if I type term, it's an entity reference element dedicated to vocabulary terms. And the reason I'm setting this up is I'm seeing people needing better support for hierarchical vocabularies. So I'm going to scroll down, and basically the settings are, I'm using tags. You can display it as breadcrumbs, which I'll check off automatically. Um, and you get to see, go over to view, and you'll see this widget. And it displays you the hierarchy. It shows you the breadcrumbs for each term. And if you turn off the breadcrumbs, it'll show you the tree, the hierarchical tree of vocabulary terms. And this element can be gradually enhanced over time, but I wanted to kind of establish that we're going to need a dedicated element for this type of entity reference where it's a hierarchical tree. It's very useful for tagging, Within your forums, if you need to collect certain types of data, you need to collect a lot of different terms. And I think we are, we're going to need a dedicated element so that we can enhance it. And people can also extend this element and build their own hierarchical select menus using it. Um, the other features that we're going to go into, and this one I actually like, and it's still, this also, these are just new features that I'm gradually working out, is there's now the ability to schedule when a form is going to be open and close. And you get an open time date time and a closed date time and this applies to the main web form in a future release i'm hoping to copy this functionality over to a web form node where you can, can have the same form repeated over multiple nodes and control when it's going to be open and closed and this is just a very useful feature for scheduling for example events to have the form close right before the event or if you want to set you know an application and there's a deadline for the application and Going on to applications, another feature that's been added is, um, I kind of have to get there to kind of talk about it, is I've added this module. It's called the Demo Application Evaluation Module. And it's meant to just illustrate how you would build 
an application evaluation system using the WebForm module. Um, I'm going to walk you through it and then I'll show you some of the glue that holds it together. So we have a demo application here. It's very simple. It's really just a contact field. I'm going to click test. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to hit submit. Now we're going to go back to the form. We're going to look at the results and we have one result. And what this is illustrating, and I just submitted it, and it actually has examples too. So we'll use one of the examples, but I'll click through them. And now we're looking at it, and at the bottom, I've attached using a block an evaluation. It's very simple. This is just framing out the concept of, I'm calling this pattern, it's an application evaluation. We filled out the application, now this is the evaluation. And it's a separate form, and you can submit it. You can even save these as drafts. You submit it. And we also are setting up limitations. I'm logged in as an admin, so this isn't going to lock the form. But the idea here is people could only fill, evaluate one application at a time and only submit one evaluation. And then if you go back to the evaluation system, which we can go back to the web forms, here's the evaluation. And if I click submissions, we only have one. We have the one that I did, and it's tracking which application this evaluation has occurred on. It's a pattern. Um, and what the key piece here that's unique is there's a block. And if I go into the block, we have to, we're talking about the seventh thing. This is really important about this pattern. And that's what this module does. It includes a configuration to illustrate the pattern. And we're going to gradually build this out. I think people are going to request features and we're going to enhance it. But I'm going to go in and just want to show you this is attaching the evaluation block to the application submission. And it's using this visibility context where we're saying we're attaching it to the demo application and we're using this very specific way of finding the web form and it's looking at the web form submission. It's getting that from the URL. This is a very tricky pattern. This is course behavior and we're gradually working on this too. That's kind of why I'm setting up these demos because these are tricky things, but they're accomplishing really complex and very important applications that people need. Um, and this is called the application evaluation demo. And we'll keep working on it. Please file tickets as you use it. You should copy the code and just experiment with it. Um, and then the final thing I just want to show you, and I'm just going to go into add-ons. Let's go navigate back. Is uh, someone set up an eye contact module? I'd like to promote anyone doing any type of improvements with the WebForm module. It's the WebForm eye contact. It's an experimental one. If you have eye contact list, this is a way of just integrating that into your web forms. Um, I think it's important to come back to this page and end on this note. Is there's a lot of people building up modules that you guys should experiment with. I think the WebForm views is critical for the success of the WebForm module. Everyone shouldn't be installing it and using it if you need it. I like the Slack integration. I think that's really cool. Um, and then also the migration path. I'm kind of ending with some encouragements here. The YAML form migration path needs to be converted over to the WebForm migration path, and people probably need to start working on that to help get people from WebForms in 6 and 7 to WebForms in 8. Um, that's it for my monthly screencast introducing you to webform 8.x 5.x beta 8 i hope this is helpful please post comments on the youtube uh, video page thank you